HYSR stock Sun Hydrogen Inc. So for the last trading session, the session of the 29th of November 2022, it gained 0.66%. In that session, it crossed its 200 uh, moving average and above average volume, but settled slightly below that uh, moving average. And the news we heard yesterday was that the company um, has indicated it has accepted a $45 million investment commitment from GH GHS Investments, LLC of uh, Jericho, New York. The proceeds will be used in part to further the development of Sun Hydrogen's nanoparticle green hydrogen technology and in parallel to enable the company to invest in and co-develop co other complementary technologies across the renewable hydrogen value chain. The company remains committed to developing its nanoparticle technology to commercialization with its uh, most immediate internal goal being the successful demonstration of a first ever production quality prototype. However, with the addition of the $45 million capital commitment, Sun Hydrogen also looks to realize its goal of furthering renewable hydrogen technology to grow the hydrogen ecosystem. Specifically, Sun Hydrogen seeks to make strategic investments by partnering with other early stage companies to enable um, and assist them in reaching their own manufacturing strategies. This vision evidenced by Sun Hydrogen's recent $10 million strategic investment in Norway-based Norway-based uh, TCO 2030, the developer of uh, zero emission technology for the maritime and uh, heavy industry sectors. Okay, there's that. That was the, that was the news yesterday. Um, but um, we also noticed in the last uh, update we had concerning HY, uh, HYSR stock that um, it was at that time it was bedeviled by the its 20 day moving average. It was it the 20 day? Okay, it was. It was uh, actually the 50 day moving average. It never succeeded in uh, breaking above that moving average. I just, I just um, only once did it close above that in over the since uh, August, slightly above that. That was um, sometime in September, early in September. And okay, well, a few other occasions, two other occasions, but just slightly above them. But what we now saw was that um, as of uh, early early to mid early to mid of this month early to the middle of this month it spiked above it broke now finally broke above that um uh, sorry it's actually 20 day moving average so it actually broke above that 20 day moving average so all in all it seems to be rallying it seems to be rallying at least it is above its 20 day and 20 and 50 day moving averages so it appears to be rallying within a longer term bearish trend driving its MACD above the signal line. However, the shares remain below a declining 200-day moving average, signifying that the dominant trend remains lower. It's also outperforming the S&P 500. So yes, I told you earlier on as well that in that session of the uh, 20, 29th of um, October, it was a slightly, it broke above that um, moving average, probably when that news was delivered. But as of the, as of the, the, the 23rd, the 23rd was Wednesday, the 23rd, it closed above the, that uh, 20 day, 200 day moving average. So it's, uh, yes, as an ind indicating, it's uh, outperforming the um, SP 500. So it seems to have corrected, it seems to have corrected, and it's, uh, you know, who knows when it's going to spike up again and um, extend further. Momentum, as uh, measured by 14 Peter Slow's oscillators, waning, yes, since uh, that 23rd, since that Wednesday, the 23rd, the momentum has waned even though we had this news of uh, it for five million dollar investment commitment so this means that investors are not as aggressive as they were before and they are, they are probably taking profits from positions but at lower prices uh, the volume for this last session was uh, heavier than usual trading 30.849 million shares versus an average of 8.242 million shares per day during the last 12 months the unbalanced volume indicator shows sorry, the unbalanced volume indicator shows that longer term selling pressure has given way to near term accumulation by traders. Yes. Um the momentum yeah, there wasn't as much aggression, or rather there isn't uh, as much uh, momentum. Okay, there's there wasn't as much uh, aggression in the momentum, but you know, um it is no longer being uh, oversold. It's no longer it's there's more buying going on now, even though momentum Yes, there was some momentum. There was uh, some aggression in the momentum previously, but right now, it has um, 
cooled off, but the 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 the, the buying sword is still very much in effect. You know, so in the last video we had a target of zero point zero five eight one eight, so that is around somewhere here zero point zero five one eight. Um, there's no guarantee that's going to happen. Zero point zero five one eight, just slightly here around somewhere here. You know, so that's around where it is. That's our short term target, short to medium term target for HYSR. You know. Uh, there's no guarantee that's going to happen. HYSR isn't, um, you know, really uh, making anything, manufacturing and selling anything as such, you know. So um, if it doesn't get there, I think that's pretty much um, expected, you know. But in any case, see what you make of it. And we have a position there. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.